Are you excited? Too excited? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so flippin' excited today because I've got a new camera. <laughs> oh my god, I can tell already, right? On my last camera, I used to have to put a mirror behind it because I didn't have a flip-up viewfinder. I've got a flip-up viewfinder. So sorry if I keep looking up there. It's just I'm, I'm not used to be able to actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be like, oh, oh, oh my god. But um, it's so much better quality already. I'm so excited to be using it. Basically, I, I mean, I mentioned it quite a lot in my some of my previous videos that my other camera was on its way out it actually lasted me really well because i've ha had it for nearly three years but i dropped it a few times the lens wouldn't always come out and the quality was just getting worse so i decided to splash out <sighs> was terrifying i actually felt a little bit sick this morning when i went and bought it <laughs> just <laughs> lounge in my chair um but yeah, I decided to splash out and get a new one because I don't like having poor quality videos. It makes me grumpy. So now I've had my little ramble about my new camera because I'm so excited. I literally picked it up like an hour ago and have just been setting it up and stuff. Um, so bear with me because this is a little bit more high tech than my other one. So it's probably going to take me a little bit of getting used to. Um, but we'll get there it'll be fine so today's video is another foundation first impression and wear test and review if you're new and haven't seen me do one of these videos before i basically apply the foundation with you guys talk about it whilst i apply it i try um different methods of application use primer and no primer and then once we've done all that jazz um i then test it out for the day and i like to test it for a minimum of 12 hours i feel like that gives me sort of a good gauge on how it wears how it lasts um what sort of skin type and all that so let's get started my previous um first impressions that i have been doing recently have all been quite low price point foundations they've all been kind of drugstore foundations around the £10 mark some have been a little bit less and some I think one was like £2 over or something like that so I thought I would actually try a high-end foundation out today and I'm so excited I can't even tell you so I've even kept it in this bag I've tried to be really good and not use it and I succeeded but it is the 25th of October today and my birthday was on the 9th of October and I went to London on the 10th of October James took me out for the day and we had a lovely day in London and I popped into the Charlotte Tilbury store and I treated myself and it is the new let's get into it so I picked up the new oh god even just it just feels so luxe I'm very excited airbrush flawless foundation by Charlotte Tilbury obviously um it's the newest one that they've got out and I just wanted to give it a go. I've never actually tried um, Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, I have hardly tried any of Charlotte Tilbury's makeup, to be honest. But it's such like a gorgeous brand. You just go into the shop and I feel like I'm in makeup heaven. Um, but all I've ever tried is her lipsticks, which I love. But yeah, because it's kind of a pricey brand, I've tried to be good and stay away from it. But this I just could not resist. So this is the packaging in the box. How cute is that? Oh my god, that was very exciting. My camera just focused on that pretty much straight away. Oh dear. Um, and I picked up the shade 7 Warm. I've actually faded a little bit since then. So I have got a thin layer of fake tan just so it matches. Um, and if I love it, it just means that I'm going to make sure I fake tan. Because I'm actually quite lazy with that. Even though I would love to be gloriously tanned all the time, I'm really rubbish at sticking to a fake tan routine. So I'm hoping if I love this, it will kind of force me to do it. But anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the foundation. Then we can open it up, discuss the packaging and everything like that so on the box it says it stays all day and night and i'm just going to read you a little bit about it i see if it has more information on their website oops they have got a huge shade range as well on this um they've got they cater for warm neutral and cool tone skin tones and from very fair to very deep a really 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 good shade range very impressed with that there are 44 shades in this range which is yeah like i said amazing and they've got a whole array of skin tones and 
depths i'll try and show you like the little chart on their website here so really good um really impressed with that i hate it when brands only have like five or even 10 various shades within their range because it's just it's not inclusive and i don't like it oh so it says uh, visibly reduces the appearance of wrinkles by up to 22% after eight weeks of use. Really? Is there some magic in here as well then? Is it like a skincare foundation? Oh, do you know what it says on the flip inside of it? Oh, well. I'll read what it says here and here, just so we've got all the information we could possibly want. So it says, a full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long-lasting finish. Oh, damn. I didn't realise it was a matte finish. I thought it was... A dewy finish that's a little disappointing but that's my own fault because i didn't check properly because i love glowy finished foundations but never mind if it looks amazing then i can just make myself look glowy with highlighter and stuff it's not really the end of the world it says apply your airbrush flawless foundation blending outwards from the center of your face for a flawless airbrush finish oh, now that's all it says on there about what it is so let's see what it claims to do so it says flawless is a feeling charlotte's new innovation foundation is the secret to a flawless poreless looking confident complexion a stay all day weightless love that because i really love it if i can get full coverage but not feel it i hate it when your foundation feels heavy um full coverage formula with a natural matte finish okay natural matte that's not so bad then if it's really matte i can find that it gives you that kind of like chalky finish which i really don't like but natural matte is kind of it mattifies your skin a bit but it looks there's a little bit of glow it's sort of like a soft matte how can i explain it it's it, it looks more natural because it's not like completely matte if that makes sense um it's a hybrid magic skincare foundation for every occasion oh my god i didn't know that it was a skincare foundation i'm very excited so the ingredients are groundbreaking magic replexium i think i've said that right to significantly reduce the appearance of wrinkles by up to 22 percent after eight weeks of use moss cell tech number one whatever the hell that means to boost hydration by up to 216 percent that's crazy air cool for an instant fresh feel on the skin oh that's quite nice it'll be like refreshing and feel like it's doing goodness to your skin doing goodness what sort of grammar was that treating your skin let's rephrase it to that has a unique ct defense that's designed to limit exposure of the skin to everyday pollutants and gives a flawless poreless looking finish 95 percent agree that pores looked reduced it's sweat proof humidity proof waterproof transfer resistant great because it's already matte so if you were to set it with powder it may look a bit heavy so if it's transfer resistant you wouldn't need to set it if you didn't want to um i actually don't set any of my foundations with powder only under my eyes i don't like to do it on the rest of my face charlotte has developed a unique magic beauty skin algorithm through a study on 650 plus women to decode the perfect flawless match of foundation shade that color sinks to the skin the first colour cosmetics brand to use the ground breaking magic reflexium and it moisturises for up to 22 hours skin moisture levels boosted by 216 percent in one hour that's crazy so i mean it sounds great the reviews are good on here as well it's actually got 4.2 stars out of five so i won't keep you waiting any longer let's get started love the box it's like this really beautiful kind of nude pink packaging with rose gold writing on can't really go wrong with that can you classic classy stylish packaging like i said mine is in the shade seven warm i also for reference um have well i used to say normal to dry skin but my skin actually isn't very dry anymore to be honest i would just say it's normal skin it's kind of well hydrated doesn't really go dry doesn't really go oily however i do get oily kind of in my t section mainly down my nose and on my chin um so i will be bearing that in mind oh my wow okay so this is the packaging oh my god how stunning is that so it's just a frosted glass bottle 
feels quite heavy feels really luxurious and then a rose gold um textured lid also got the Charlotte Tilbury logo right here and then it's got yeah the writing and everything on shade is on the bottom <sighs> I'm very excited so also something else I forgot to mention so the size of the bottle is 30 mil which is the standard foundation size so I'm happy with that and I believe it has a pump but let's check yes a pump love it and it's rose gold and matches so I absolutely love the packaging I think it looks beautiful it's very luxurious looks luxe and feels it as always I will prime one half of my face to see if um, primer affects the performance whether you need it whether you don't to test all the foundations evenly I've been using the same primer so I'm just going to take the Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Primer and I'm going to just do it on the left side of my face and then I'm just going to blend that in with my hands and this is when my face goes really red sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder I know it's really annoying but it's so nice to be able to see what my camera is doing and also I can see what I'm doing which is great but I'll try and look in here more the other thing I like to do is test the tools to see if I prefer one or the other so I always test using a foundation brush and a damp beauty sponge um, to be honest most of the time I prefer this however um, I think I said in another video recently I have actually loved applying with a brush and then blending out with this after so I'm going to test both and see um, which I prefer or whether both work great so I'm just going to do one pump on my hand let's get close because this is exciting oh my god right come on Right, that was sort of one and a little bit pumps because the first pump is always just like a little bit small. So I did, I'd love a little pump to top it up. <gasps> I think I've managed to match this colour very well. Exciting. So I'm going to start with the brush and I'm going to go on the unprimed side to start and I'm just going to start to swirl that in. Oh my God, it smells amazing. It does smell like skincare, mm, but it smells really good. Okay, it's still maybe a tiny little bit dark for me I don't know actually yeah it matches me pretty well a little definitely goes a long way no it is a little bit dark for me but that's fine I'll just fake tan more for today I will be blending it down the old nickaroo actually blends really nicely with a brush I'm gonna have to kind of half ass attempt blending on my ears because I did get piercings um for my birthday so I've got to be careful to not get makeup on them but yeah blends really easily and it does look flawless so far with the brush and that was only kind of half of the amount of foundation on my hand so I'm now going to take a damp real technique sponge and blend that in and see what that's like I need to do another pump wow the coverage is really good and it is like a really it's so lightweight but it looks really nice as well the finish it doesn't actually look completely matte it looks sort of demi matte i would say let's zoom you in a bit shall we hello that's better yeah it's i can see what it means by it's sort of a natural matte finish you can still sort of see a little bit of the glow in my skin but yes it is generally a matte finish both actually work really well to be honest so i would just say go with the tool that you prefer it blended out really really easily um and both look just as nice maybe with the sponge you get a slight tiny bit more glow so i would probably use that one i like I said generally prefer to use the sponge anyway but I would probably use that just because I do prefer a dewy finish um but if you prefer to use brushes then go for that because it blends really nicely I can't believe how quickly I've built up that coverage on my face I'm gonna go back in with the brush anyway just to test it on the prime side just to see if it sort of blends any differently whether it's easier harder makes a difference or anything like that I'm not going to be able to put it on my ear for this one so I'm going to look crazy because I've got a piercing up here I've got a little forward helix piercing which I love but it's a little bit sore 
I would say it actually blends just as easy on both sides so in terms of primer so far I can't see that it makes an awful lot of difference I'm going to try and like patch my ear in so it somewhat looks normal yeah we can get away with that I'm going to go back in with the sponge and I do need another pump yeah again blends really easily with the sponge this looks so nice as well I actually think it um, might be oxidising ever so slightly so I'm just going to sort of blend all over my face now with the sponge I actually don't really have a preference I like how both look but I'm going to go with the sponge because like I said it gives me sort of a slightly more dewy finish which is what I like I've got some I mean this is like seriously full coverage it looks incredible on my skin but I'm going to see if I can build it up anymore just because I like to see how the foundation builds up I also think it might have oxidized so we'll see yeah it has look you see that's the fresh foundation this is after it's quite a difference so maybe bear that in mind I mean for me I was having to fake tan anyway so I'll just leave my tan on for longer so that I match but if you're matching yourself in the shop maybe go because I think they do it in half shade so this is a seven but there was also a seven and a half and then a six and a half and a six so on um so maybe go down half a shade because it yeah it does look like it oxidizes ever so slightly the adding layers doesn't affect it it blends really nicely on top of it the already blended out foundation so that's great you can build it up if you want I always like a bit of extra coverage on my cheeks so I tend to add a little bit extra on there but it looks really nice it, wow the, that coverage is insane I literally can't see a single freckle which is crazy it um, doesn't feel heavy on my skin but it does look slightly heavy at the moment but I think that's because I haven't like filled in my under eye um, and got the rest of my makeup on I think once you've got your makeup on it won't look heavy it's just gonna look really nice but the finish although it's matte and i don't usually like matte it is beautiful it's really sort of skin like it is just a very skin like finish even though it's matte finish sorry i just realized i haven't blended under here so that is looking really nice i like it i mean the color actually isn't too bad of a match i think it's just because it oxidizes slightly i'd need to yeah just do a little bit of extra fake tan oh i haven't blended that very well what a what a mess i am it hasn't clung to sort of any dry patches or areas not that i particularly had any but it's not sort of gathered anywhere it does just look slightly heavy at the moment but on camera it looks amazing like my skin looks flawless so what i'm going to do now oh sorry i just wobbled you so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna pop on my concealer set it with powder under my eyes i'm gonna take a flash test just to see if we get any bounce back if i look greasy or anything and then i will be back to discuss with you so i applied my concealer which blended really nicely and then set it with powder i've also filled in my eyebrows um yeah my concealer blended beautifully it set really easily and it's made my face look normal now it doesn't look as heavy and it just looks really even and really really nice like my skin looks insane it has dried down now it doesn't actually it feels ever so slightly sticky but it's yeah i would say it's transfer proof let's try with this part of my hand try here yeah transfer proof so you wouldn't need to set it with a powder it has gone a bit more matte now um but still looks really nice like it's not too matte that i don't like it so i'm really liking how it looks so far it looks super smooth across my cheeks which is great because that's obviously where i get the most pores um and it hasn't exaggerated them you can still see them ever so slightly so it's not hidden them but um yeah it just looks amazing and it looks really nice on camera as well i also just took a flash test which i will insert now so i literally had a tiny bit of shine above my eyebrow but i think it looks 
beautiful under flash photography and harsh lighting and my skin really does just look flawless on camera it looks amazing in real life too but on camera it looks even more amazing and it performs really well under flash photography so i can see this if it wears well becoming like a really nice foundation that i love to use for special occasion or nights out something i know is going to look nice under lighting last really well and give me great coverage so i'm gonna go away and do the rest of my makeup and i'll be back in a few hours with my first update the time is now five past twelve so yeah i'll be back soon to update you all hello everybody it is update time so it is 10 to 3 which means i've had the foundation on for three hours now and i'm just gonna have a little peek and have a look okay it's still looking amazing literally doesn't look any different to when i put it on earlier it's not got oily anywhere the finish still looks amazing it's um still looks flawless yeah it literally does look exactly the same the rest of my makeup blended on top beautifully look how nice my highlighter looks can we just take a minute to appreciate that um yeah it blended really beautifully on top really easily it looks amazing and it's actually made my sort of bronzer and blusher look airbrushed as well it's just really really nice and easy to work with it's maybe gone slightly shinier here in comparison to earlier but it's not shiny at all and actually i'm glad it has kind of gone a little bit more dewy in that section because like i said i prefer the dewy look but literally hardly at all and this bit i've popped highlighter in these areas so that's why that looks glowy but even though it's matte i actually love how it looks because i'm able to add highlight and make it dewy um and glowy how i like it anyway so yeah so far oh no i've got lipstick on my teeth how cute I've just had that the whole time i was talking to you but yeah so far looks amazing hasn't budged hasn't melted or faded anywhere i don't think it's oxidized any more um than it had earlier so it just oxidizes that little bit when you first put it on and it seems to stop thank god because i was a little concerned i was going to end up looking very orange but no that's looking good so yes yeah, so far so good i filmed this makeup look by the way it is a charlotte tilbury inspired makeup look so i'm assuming if you like the fact that i'm doing a charlotte tilbury foundation review you're gonna be interested in this makeup look um that will be coming soon quite possibly the next video i'm uploading if not it will be the one after that so make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss that but yeah this is how it's looking so far and i'm loving it so i'll be back in a few hours with another update for you hello everyone so it's update time again it's now five to six so i've had this on for about six hours now so it's time to have another look and see what it's doing in the viewfinder so far it's still looking pretty good uh, it's literally not changed <laughs> it literally has not changed it looks so nice it's i've gained a tiny bit of shine on my chin which i did say i usually get a little bit oily in that air and area and a tiny little bit here but it's still matte everywhere else it hasn't melted or faded around my nostrils which is always an issue for me hasn't faded anywhere else hasn't oxidized anymore so that's great it literally just does it when you first put it on then it's sunk ever so slightly into the lines in my head oh, i'll get near for you to see there we go oh sorry i look a bit sort of funny in the lighting now because it's getting dark outside so i've got my main light and my ring light on but it's made me look a bit i don't know funny <sighs> i just ran out the stairs and now i'm exhausted i need to go to the gym um yeah it hasn't sunk into my pores in fact it's better on my pores looks better on my pores than it did earlier when i first put it on so i think it might just take a little while to settle into your skin and then start doing its magic stuff doesn't feel heavy on my skin doesn't look heavy either like i said it did earlier that's also sort of settled into my skin it doesn't look dry even though it still looks matte and it just looks really really nice my skin literally does look airbrushed i think it looks great on camera so i think this is probably going to be like my special occasion night out foundation won't want to use it every day because it's expensive 
and it's not worth wearing it to work but it is a really nice foundation and I'm loving how it's wearing so far so yeah the only thing I've noticed is it's sunk ever so slightly into the lines in my head and it's got a little bit shiny on my chin which for me I don't mind but if you don't like the dewy look then you might have to set this foundation with a powder or if you have quite oily skin then you may have to set it with a powder as well but yeah I will be back later on I'm going out now so I'll probably be leaving it for quite a few hours now and we'll be back sort of for the end of the video i like to wear it for 12 hours so that'll probably be about midnight so i'll see you then hello everybody so i'm back for my final update the time is now quarter past 12 so i've had it on for just over 12 hours now so it's time to have another look again in the view finder it's looking really good still like really good still but anyway let's get a closer look in the mirror that's weird in the viewfinder it looks like it's gone patchy but it hasn't only on that particular section how random right anyway so i mean it still looks great i'm gonna get closer so you guys can see how flawless my skin looks it's crazy it sunk a little bit into the lines of my head maybe slightly more than earlier um still looks amazing on my pores hasn't sunk into my pores at all um they're slightly more visible than earlier but it hasn't actually sunk into them it's gone a little bit more oily on my nose and chin and slightly started to go ever so slightly on my cheeks i don't know if you can see a little bit of shine there for me like i said i don't mind because i like the dewy look but because i've had it on for a long time and it's starting to do that it's starting to look just a tiny bit heavy now but nothing major the rest of my makeup on top looks really good Oh, I just knocked my piercing and that blooming well hurt. Ouch. Oh, that's sore. Um, it's not really faded anywhere. Like I said, this little bit in the viewfinder or on camera looks patchy, but it actually isn't in real life. So that's a bit weird. Melted ever so slightly around my nostrils, which I usually get anyway, but it's taken sort of this point before it does that still looks really good still looks pretty much matte just gone a little bit shiny sort of in my t-zone section which i said happens anyway but like i said it's been on for 12 hours now so i probably wouldn't wear it much longer than this anyway and for it to only look a tiny bit oily at this point it's really good if you have super oily skin i'd say even though it sets and you don't have to set it with powder you may need to um just to prevent the oil and if you've got dry skin i think this would work really well because it's super lightweight it doesn't feel heavy at all and i've worn it all day you know when you like get to a point in the evening you think oh i can't wait to take my makeup off i actually don't feel like that i don't feel like i've actually got anything on my skin which is really nice so i think that's also like the skincare element taking part there as well um so i really like that um yeah so if you've got dry skin i think it would work really well i think it actually suits all skin types you would just have to sort of maybe adjust how you use it depending on your skin type mainly for oily skin to be honest but because it's a matte finish i think you'll still get really good wear out of it so yeah i'm really impressed i literally i love how it looks this is definitely going to be my like night out special occasion foundation i really like it yeah i'm really impressed i was kind of a bit like ooh, am i gonna like it for the price point i was a bit concerned because i've tried like really good foundations for around 10 pounds but um i really like how this looks even though it is more expensive i still really really like it so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think of the foundation if you've tried it um and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching